What's up guys, back with another video. Yeah, I know, I haven't uploaded in a while, and I have a good reason why. Well, maybe good, depends on how you see it as. So while I turn off this music, I'll be telling you why. So, <clears throat> I was doing a video the day after I did like one of my part videos on Fallout 4. I was going to do the Call to Arms quest with Paladin Dance. I finished the whole quest. But then, why, as I got to Sunlight uh, Drive-In or whatever, my game crashed. And then after that, I look at my phone, and my phone's on its Lego screen, like the screen that says you want to click on YouTube, camera, and that stuff. I was like, what the hell? I go on camera, and my video's not even there. I didn't even save the video. The video's completely gone. But then, um, a week, over a week later, I look back on there, and my video's there, at least the part of the video when I got to the police station after waiting College Square. Yeah, I waited College Square. Uh, it sounds like I said waiting, but waiting. I took all the stuff that I wanted from College Square. Went to the police station and saved on a duffel bag. Well, not duffel, not <laughs> duffel bag, the sleeping bag. But, yeah, so that's why. I did upload that part on there once I saw I was, able, I was able to. But, yeah, so we're going to be doing a video on the Institute Centaur mod. I built a really good uh, page. I'm not in my power armor. This is because I've been in my power armor so long. Actually, this will be useful, actually. But, yeah, um, the Centaur here. And I was going to put another creature in here, but I killed the Sumerian Antrophios in there. They were like well Sumerians from the Nation mod. But yeah, my last mod, when I could video I ever made when I came back to YouTube after my two month break after only three videos, I imagine a mod review of Cheat Terminal and the Centaur mod. But I didn't, I didn't do a good enough mod review. So here we go. Just so you know. I, I, I'm not playing on survival mode. Ooh, that's why. It won't allow me to play on survival mode. See? I'm pressing a button just so I know, like... Yeah, it won't allow me to play on survival mode. But survival mode is basically very hard mode. There's, you have to eat and sleep and drink and stuff. It doesn't make the game any harder except those main things. So yeah, it don't make you do more or less damage or make enemies do more or less damage. Because I know. I turned off player central and guard mode off. And anything I have to make my character strong. The only thing I have is the strongest character that you could have in this game. Like with every perk from every DLC, using these mods just to see the strongest character possible without cheats. I'm not a power armor, I'm learning the best armor possible. This is how much damage is doing. This is a basic centaur. God damn it. By the way, my stats are here. I'm gonna melee it with my gun. These are my stats. I'm gonna melee it with my gun. I know this says 10 minus charisma, but it's actually over that. So I don't know why it's saying 10 minus, but it's over that. It's actually supposed to say 10 plus because it's actually supposed to be more like 16 or something, like 11 or 12, but everything's stupid hard. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's actually 11. Yeah. I accidentally bust the walk by, I didn't mean to shoot it. Well, the, the alien blast, he killed in one shot, which isn't embarrassing since the alien blast is the best weapon in the game. So I need to spawn up another centaur. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know. This is more now. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go to the glowing sea, actually. This will be easier than the glowing sea, I assume. Um, yeah. 
I don't really have the editing ability on my phone because I've tried it. It won't work, so. Yeah, this is why it seems like a very bad review on this mod. Also, talk about some problems I actually have with this mod. So, yeah. Oh, we got a legendary glowing centaur. So yeah, these ones are legendary. They do this much damage. They actually do more damage. I'm in good armor, and I'm level 154 with three harm. Uh, yeah, we're level 156 actually. Put on it. So its legendary effect, as far as I'm concerned, makes it do more melee damage because it has a red outline on it. And from what I'm saying, my looks get that, and when they get it, they do more damage. So let's see. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it do more damage. This fire just do more damage than its fist. Oh yeah, now speaking of which, one problem I have with this mod, or actually two, is that this mod, um, the centaurs don't make much noise. I know some people say they're completely silent. They ain't completely silent for me, but they don't really make noise. And that's kind of disappointing. So, just so you know, I got everything on maximum, radio, footsteps, effects, music I turned off so you can actually hear anything, voices on uh, complete, and so is master. So, because in case you want me to check it, yeah. I spent this do pretty good damage. Or pretty, well, it's bad, at least if you don't hit by it, but it does do quite a bit of damage. It does do damage over time, besides so radiation. So yeah, that's a cool thing. Um, they can take quite a bit of damage. They do actually have some of... Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of damage actually. I'm not too sure if I like that. But yeah, my two problems I have this mod is this one also, is that when they get stunned, by like a stun baton or like um, uh, a stunning super sledge, the centaur would get stunned and it would get back up, but most of the time the centaur will disappear, then it'll pop back up and it'll be like in a T pose like state or just like floating around moving or just be completely on its back and moving or just its feet that's showing up out of the ground. That doesn't always happen sometimes, the game still functions normally. I'm just saying though, that's one thing I had noticed. They all make noise. And that just, I mean, that's really unfortunate. One thing I always uh, liked, uh, hated about Fall Fletch, is the only thing I disliked about Fall Fletch, there was no centaurs. And I thought that was disappointing. That was my word. I, I, I didn't like that. That was just so unfortunate. Because I was like, the guns, armor conditions don't exist anymore. And I was so happy about that. But then to know that the centaurs were planned to be in the game, but were ultimately cut, or at least never added in, disappointed me. <coughs> Uh, we do get sent to our meat, which at the best character possible will give you 135 health. And they give you like, uh, was it like 13 rats? I don't have, uh, I have every perk obviously. But trust me, these do give you a lot of radiation. Like 13 radiation. Oh, oh yeah, poisoners. Uh, synth armor I got. Let's see its stats. Zero radiation protection, which in my. Uh, which in my experience does actually protect you from radiation. Try to fight poison resistance. 
That's pretty good. But yeah, um, the centaurs are pretty cool creature. We're trying to spawn up another one. Well, not another one. So the, this is the unlegendary glowing centaur. Oh yeah, by the way, here's its stats. It shows it um, right up here. Level 28. I thought it was level 18. Huh. It's actually level 28. Um, 40 damage resistance and 30 energy resistance. Not 20. And complete immunity to radiation. Actually, speaking of which, hold on. I'm gonna do damage. I'm gonna see if the radiation will heal it. I do got a gamma gun, right? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Of course, I don't. Hmm. I'm gonna change that real quick. Uh. Energy? Yeah, yep. Long gamma gun. Wait, what? A long gamma gun? I have not used the gamma gun in a very long time. Oh, that's because of the build. 360 radiation. That's good. No, but it definitely does damage to the central. So I don't heal centaurs. Although there is a glowing centaur in this game. Which I wonder if that's actually more fun there. No, it only games that wouldn't be, but on hand, every gene for centaur is different at the end of the day. They look pretty creepy. Honestly, always loved how the centaur's concept thought look. This was my favorite head. This head right here is my favorite. It's got uh, this right here, because it's got the big eye and the two eyes on top there. Um, you got this arm, well this little head here, the eyes, the nose, and that arm coming out of the mouth. Little tooth there. Um, the arm coming out of the mouth kind of looks like the arm of the Elite from Halo. Here's its stomach. I should have got, sometimes in the way you look at it, I see faces in it. Especially this here. Like where my cursor is pointing at, that yeah, especially. They got this, which is pretty creepy. Oh, they got this head here, which here's its other eye right there, and a human head right there. Hold on, there's another sensor. Hold on, let me flip it over. Wait, heavy creatures, I know. Take a ride away and uh, step back. Oh, we don't need it. I have knife. I have the knife club or the vampire like club, knife person or whatever. I have that club, so this helps me see a little bit. Here's the uh, face. It's kind of hard to see that. Let me switch the, the lighting and stuff. It's so hard to see that. Uh, weather, clear. Down time. Uh, time will make it 12 p.m. And time scale, set one minute to one fallout minute. Or one real minute to fall, one real fall minute. So it'll take super long for the radiation storm to kick in. There we go. It's got like two uh, elbows. Uh, it actually has one that's bent there. It's hand. So it's pretty disgusting actually. This makes me think of the, the two headed thing, the uh, split face from the thing. So. It's mostly just the legs, but this creature is much bigger than a thing. Definitely more dangerous and much scarier and cooler. Oh, well, yep, that's that one. My well, legs kind of useless. Come on, see if I can get to go outside. This one's fine. Oh, God. 
He's a heavy creature. Also, rub away the fingers. Are you actually ready for Wait. Well, there we go. The human head, put that one. Here's the human head. Put it on. And, yep, it's creepy hand. Right there. All the world to see. And I think rub away the hand and stuff so I can fit, make it like a fist shape and you kill them all to make it a fist shape. Their hands will stay that way. Or maybe it's kind of like the Milo's they move on depending what uh, way the centaur is laying down. You got this little arm here, the three little fingers, what I like to call the baby hair, and two stubs, the one stub here and this stub. We got one hand here, that, actually, yeah, that's the, okay, this hand is fully finished. This one's partially finished, except that pinky is not fully blown, so yeah. I'm going to show the main hand that likes to do the fist gesture. I'm going to just go like this hand here. So this hand likes to do the fist gesture. This hand only has four fingers. Well, actually, yeah. Well, I think that's what the thumb's supposed to be. So yeah, that's the glowing centaur and the legendary centaur. Yeah, legendary centaur. We're trying to spawn up a wave centaur. Very, but it's very hard. 
uh, mostly harder for that little guy there. It's pretty creepy. Okay, so let's flip over on the side. Uh, let's flip over and stand up. Here. There we go, perfect. Once you fall. Right. Put this away. Space here. I don't even know what this head's supposed to be either, much like that head. Honestly, this head's a human head. This head right here is obviously a human head. Uh, look at that human head. So I'll, I'll do that head uh, later. Got this one, his eyes there. Try to get a close zoom in on the eye. There we go. Got sun glare. There. There. And that eye right there. Yep. Here's the other head that's on like this. And uh that this is disgusting looking. Yeah, it's all wet looking, it's disgusting. Also, I don't know if they updated this creature, but the creature looks more authentic than it did before. I think they updated it so it looks more realistic, closer. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's left eye is dead, the uh, skin's going over it or in it, but in a glowing variant, you can actually kind of see it's left eye, or wide eye, no, left eye. Hold on a second, I have a, I have a way to fix this problem. Not being able to see it. That's not good enough. Yeah, that would take this long to do a review. Yep, there's head there. <laughs> and right there. You can kind of see its eye somewhat there. The uh, glowing there. Yeah. Get this under the ground. Okay. We got this. Oh! No, that is. It's not gonna make you feel sorry for this thing. Fall in your mouth, yeah. Huh. Huh, interesting. So, yep, there. That head right there. And there. There. Yep. God, so that. So yeah, I thought that'd be pretty cool to show off too. Oh, I can't go right. Now it's spun up a centaur companion. Or a companion. Whatever.
They do give you a radiation fuel. Actually, speaking of which, okay, you do get radiation fuel down there. Oh yeah. yeah. Hold up. I said hold up. Yeah. Okay. Head like. What are you doing? Human head right there, that head there, and this head there. This head follows you and moves. These arms also move. I'll always show you these like a million times. They actually move. Everything on the center moves. If you listen carefully, you can actually hear its breathing. I've heard two breathing sounds. One kind of sounds like a beat. Hold on. I don't turn off any sound that will conflict with that so you can actually hear it better. Um, would that fall into effects? I don't think so. Yeah, it does. It falls on effects. So they only make like two sounds, or three actually, I should say, which is the two different breathing sounds. And I only tested it. As far as I'm concerned, they ain't from a regular mutant, huh? Let me turn off Master. Actually, what is Master, technically? I mean, I know it does make it silent. Uh, legit, this turns off all sound. I hope you can kind of hear it. Yeah, that might just be me. So yeah, a master turns off all sound. So in case you feel lazy and you don't feel like going over to your TV remote and turning on a volume, you can always just do this. Yep, the center. Thought. Something like people shooting at me. But that's just what it looks like. Let's try to spawn up a wig with some stuff. Standing on these yellow things actually gives you rads. Huh. Actually, not hard. I'm really curious. How much red did I get for standing in this stuff? The radiation storm's finally kicking in. Took it forever. Not play your old letter here. Eight and time. Time. Twelve PM. Or what about nine AM? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, this is a little trippy game. This ain't nine AM. This is called Pink Sky. Uh whatever. Oh my health was already full. Let me show you some enemies. The uh, blood bugs over there. I'm not gonna be flying them. Okay, yep. Wait there. Sometimes they won't make a breathing noise. So it's uh, like one of the noises is like, <sighs> like it has like two huffs or breathing in sounds and then exhaling sounds. You'll feel like Ch before it. It does two and then like a Ch And then another one's just like it's like, like you just hear the huff and ex like the inhale and exhale. That's it. But sometimes it won't even make a breathing noise. Moving out. So I think one thing that they could do to improve this mod is give them more animations. I mean, they already gave them a lot of animations, but I want the faces, uh, mouths, and eyes and stuff to move a little more. Like, that'd be cooler. And then to make noises. Like, the first step is silent. So yeah, I th they do actually make a numb noise when they uh, uh, shoot out spit or spit out spit. When they spat you, it does make a noise. 
and that's a bit coming out, and then it also makes the noise hitting the ground. It spits far as I'm concerned, looks like the spit from my like hunter or queen, except I think better. And when it hits the ground, it's a little goo. So yeah, I thought I'd be cool to do this mod. I am gonna make a video tomorrow for for playthrough part um um Oh god, what is it? Uh playthrough something. I've got the number. You know what I have to know? I'm doing that playthrough right now. So I only did my mod review on this mod. Time to actually get into the playthrough. Cambridge Police Station. Deco Army, I don't care. So yeah. We're playing through uh, the survival mode again. I did my mod review now. Now it's time for su the survival mode playthrough. After turning the gajillion years later, but yeah. I do kind of miss the series a little bit. I mean, besides me still getting killed. I thought they said it'd make you overpowered, but honestly, I feel kind of less over underpowered. I don't know why. It's kind of like, I got killed still. I mean, and I'm level 17. Man, honestly, I don't really have that much of an advantage. Yeah, I have all this stuff, but, like, it's gonna do that much. I ain't doing a loss with, uh, the call to arms quest yet. Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? How are you guys just waiting for you? I don't kill you. Shut your goddamn mouth. Stupid calm sandwich. It's Joey's little tour TV. Nightways, lease, whatever, I'll call them leases pieces, right there. What a, what a dumb name. His parents must have really loved the name and have night we uh name him lease. Isn't that supposed to be like a girl's name? But if that's how you say it, I think that's how you say it. Wise whatever. I'll call him wise girl. I don't care. Unless he's Lisa's pieces. And my game crashed, of course, because why wouldn't it crash? You always need one thing to annoy me and ignore me. Because I can never have one time when I'm doing a video for it not to have a problem. I should have got it's not been like one video on my channel uh, on my channel that I'm actually happy in for the most part. I mean there's a couple that I'm not mad in at all, but most of them. Uh, uh, you should see me when I'm not recording. I get way too mad. Come on, here we go. At least it don't take long to go and fall for so I mean, honestly, the crashes don't really bother me. They don't crash often at all. Every once in a 